I really love the scenario editor in Age of Empires 2. I've spent countless hours building maps and playing with triggers and just letting my creative freedom run wild. I don't think I'm the most creative person, but with a little bit of patience, it's always possible to come up with something good looking or something really fun to play. That sandbox element is really enjoyable, and since I've always played games like Roller Coaster Tycoon and The Sims growing up, it also fit in with Age of Empires and allowed me to just have even more fun with the game when I wanted to play just on single player or, you know, if the internet went out or something. It's also really awesome to see what other people come up with. It's amazing to see what kind of creativity others have within them and for that reason I've hosted various screenshot competitions in the past, usually through Reddit. In fact the results of some of these competitions have been widely used by a number of streamers and I've used them many times in my videos as well. It's awesome to see and I want to see more of that. The nice thing about Definitive Edition is that it brings so many new features to the scenario editor. The graphics have been overhauled and you can zoom right into the details. There's so many more eye candy pieces, there's new triggers, there's even terrain blending which is an awesome feature. And I said in my very first video about DE I mean, that I'm excited to see what people come up with with the scenario editor. I think that my channel has a lot of focus on multiplayer, whether that's casting games or making tutorials on how to get better at multiplayer. And, and in general, I don't think there's that much content out there that is for the single player, that focuses on being more creative and having a community aspect to it. I've been inspired by Jerklink's RCT2 community map building competitions. I was browsing through YouTube one day and one of his videos got suggested to me. I ended up watching a whole 40 minutes of it and I was surprised to see a couple of entrants who I already knew from the Age of Empires community. So it seems like I'm not alone in having this passion for building something in the map editor that looks pretty and then trying to share it with the world. So each month I'm going to run a competition to create a map in the Definitive Edition Scenario Editor. Each round will have a different theme or objective. You guys then get to unleash your creativity and build the most beautiful map that you can. Think of it like building a digital diorama. Once the map's finished, you can submit it to the competition and then the community will vote on your map and give it a rating. The highest rated maps will feature in a results video at the end of the month and will be posted here on the channel. I think this is a really great idea to encourage people to try out the new scenario editor and see what they can come up with. This video will mark the start of round one and here are the rules. The theme for this round is Winter Wonderland. Your map must be a tiny size map, no larger maps will be accepted. You have from today until the 11th of December to submit your map for voting. Voting will close on the 18th of December and the winners will be announced on the 20th of December. If you want to take part, then you need to join my Discord server, which is linked below the video. Once you're there, head over to the Rules and Settings channel to find out more information. There won't be any prizes for this, other than the satisfaction of winning the community vote and being featured in the YouTube video. The reason for this is to encourage community spirit. I really want this to be something that brings community together and helps like-minded people meet each other and perhaps make new friends, find a group of people to share your creations with, and maybe even find out new things about the game. So I'm really excited to see what people come up with and how the boundaries of the scenario editor will be pushed over time. And I hope that there'll be a lot of interest in this and it will be a successful series. I know that I'll be creating something and submitting it as well, and I'll definitely be open to taking suggestions in the future on how we can improve this. This idea actually came to me yesterday while I was editing the boar video and I got really excited about it so I wanted to start right away. That's why we're starting on the 20th of November but it actually works quite well because there's Christmas and New Year coming up for me so I'll be quite busy and then after this round we can start at the start of January and then uh, go month by month into 2020. My goodness, 2020. Where's the time gone? Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully you'll take part. Like I said, link is in the description to this video. And I'll see you on the Discord server. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.